Welcome back, everyone. I'm the Moe Chicken, and this is more. S Why did I want to call it Star Tropics? This is more Mega Man 2. To the Mega Man 2 on Mega Man the Wily Wars. For the Sega Genesis, we're going to Woodman today. Because we just got buzzsaws, so it seems like using, you know. L l uh, lumberjacking equipment? That doesn't sound right. Uh. Cutting down trees equipment. <laughs> on a tree might work. Yeah, I, I, I doubt whatever. What, what? Why can I not think of what it's called? Oh, my brain is mush. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, we are here to defeat Woodman, which is a very stupid name for a Robot Master. I, now, in my opinion, the Mega Man series has had some very stupid names for its Robot Masters over the years. Stuff like, uh, like, uh, like Napalm Man and Wave, well, Wave Man's pretty reasonable. Um, and there's some that are just really dumb. And in my opinion, the top two, like, dumb Mega Man Robot Master names are Fireman and Metal Man. Fireman, which is a, a fire-based Robot Master. I just think it's a very uninspired name. And then Metal Man, you know, because he's a metal robot. <laughs> Usually he's a man. Made of, I just died to that wolf-like creature, I guess. Actually, that's probably for the best because I had no lives left. So, yeah, there we go. But yeah, Metal Man. So it's a it's a, it's a robot master. It's a robot made of metal. We'll call him Metal Man. It's like Doctor Wily was just kind of just kind of half asleep when he named that one. He's like, eh, I made a I made a robot that's like fires buzz saws. I'll call it Metal Metal Man. It's it's made of metal. Metal Man. Now I, I think this maybe the maybe this rabbit take that rabbit robot <laughs> rabbit robot rabbot um has uh takes more hits than it did in the original game because I seem to recall that you could usually beat it before it actually shot one of its carrot missiles uh, at you but anyway yes so we are here to defeat Woodman a robot made entirely of wood presumably he is a ecologically friend friendly robot made entirely of wood. Despite the fact that, like, all of the trees in the background are, like, robot trees, and we're in, like, a robot cave, so it's like, everything's a robot anyway. Is Woodman made of wood, or is he actually just, like, a wood-like robot? Like, is he just, like, designed after wood? Um, I wonder if there's anything... Are there any of my abilities I can use to fight this guy? Let's see. Bubble Lead! No. Nope. Uh, so the stick behind Bubble Lead is that like it rolls along the ground, and if if it goes off, like it will go off cliffs and continue rolling. But I guess it won't actually go back up them. So that's unfortunate. This guy is just kind of like positioned in a way that it's very very difficult to like not get hit by his attack, and he takes a lot of hits, and he takes a lot of hits. Please die. Thank you. Um. Yes. Stupid wolf. Oh jeez. Um. Oh, okay, I can hit him here. That's fine. Um. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Ro yes, Woodman. Who knows? Is he is he actually made of wood, or is he just like designed to look like wood? I don't know. But we are here to kill him with buzz saws because, as I mentioned in the last episode, we now have the trick to defeat everyone. Honestly, uh, I should show it off. So the metal blade, um, you shoot it pretty fast. You shoot it in all directions. As you can see, I'm barely using up my power for it, despite how many of those I threw. And everyone's weak to it, so it's just it's it's the win button. I don't know. In later in later games, they kind of balance the weapons a little bit more, and maybe it's just that uh, like if you go back to Mega Man One, the weapons are very strange. A lot of them aren't even really project. Well, some of them aren't aren't really projectiles. Like one of the Robot Masters, Guts Man, um, who's pretty famous for his design. I, I think he's he's got a very distinctive design. Um, his ability is picking up heavy objects. Like that's like when you fight him, that's what he does. Is he, like he, he picks up uh, heavy rocks and throws them at you. And so, his like the way you use his his power is in some of the oh that I just barely made that. Um, in some of the levels, there's like they're like heavy rocks, but usually they're just used for like finding secrets and stuff. And I think there's only one robot master in the game that actually even has any of the guts man liftable rocks in his chamber so it's like you can't even really use it under under most circumstances all right i'm gonna use 
I'll use metal blades. Ba -ba 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 -ba. See, easy enough. So useful, so useful the metal blades. I try not to, I try not to overuse them because they feel like cheating. <laughs> like despite the fact that they're something you know that you legit can legitimately get in the game, and it's like there's nothing you know it's it's something you have to get in the game to beat it. Uh, it just feels like cheating. And we got running chickens. Jump. Let's see. In the original game, they would always if you stopped. Yeah. Okay. No. Never mind. In the in the original game, if you like if they were running at you and you stopped, they would always jump all the way over your head. So you just had to like stop right before they got to you and then they jump over you. So we're gonna use metal blades to beat this guy pretty easily. Now Woodman Stick is he produces a he beats on his chest, he produces a a leaf shield, jump over it. Better than that, preferably. Um and you throw saw blades at him for a while. And there we go. I did it wrong again. Okay. Well, you do better than that, and then you win. <laughs> We're gonna give it another shot. Uh, what was I saying though? Uh, metal blades. Yeah, despite the fact that you know there, there's something you have to get to beat the game. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing illegal about using them. But just, it just feels so cheap to be able to just, you know, use this power that everyone is weak to. Everyone's vulnerable to this. Um, and I mean. Surprisingly, uh, Woodman is not super vulnerable to it. I actually think he is more vulnerable to the uh, Heatman weapon, but this is what I always use on him. Because again, everyone's vulnerable to it. So, and jump. Ugh. See, what I should be, what I'm doing wrong is that I'm, uh, I'm jumping before I move forward. Like if if you're moving forward and then you jump, you can get over it. If you're you jump in place and then start to move forward, you will not actually get all the way over it. So that's unfortunate, and I'm running out of lives and metal blades, which is great. I was extolling their virtues, and now I'm doing terribly with them. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, beat on your chest. You're cool. You're a cool guy. Come on. So, ah, uh, well, okay. You also have to have the proper timing. So that is also important. Ooh. You know, one thing about this is that, like, the sprites are all just a little bit bigger. And so, a lot of the, like, positioning isn't what I expect it to be. Ugh. I may not be able to beat him, actually. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, things are looking bad for me. There we go. Ha oh, boy. Game over! Let's see... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Alright, well, we're only going to get one this episode, but we are going to beat Woodman. So here we go again. We're going to go through this again. Yeah, I, I figured if, like, the, the first two episodes I was able to beat sort of two and one. Uh, I figured as time went by it would get a little bit harder than that, so... Probably not going to be the case for the rest of the game, but we'll try. We'll, I'll see how many I can get. So, uh, uh, some of the, you know, some of the Robot Masters, as, as always, are easier than others. Um... One of the things, like, so, that whole, you know, spinning ability that orbits around you thing is pretty common in Mega Man games. I think, I think in one way or another, just about every Mega Man game has that type of attack somewhere in it. Um, like, in, uh, in Mega Man 1, let's, uh, you could, well, it's a bit of a stretch, but you could argue that, um... Elecman's ability operates on a similar principle in that it attacks in multiple directions, like it goes, you know, up, down, and and uh, forward, and so it's kind of like a shield. I don't know, that's a bit of a stretch. Um, in this game, it's Woodman. You know, he you get he gets the uh, shield around him. In Mega Man Three, it ow ow. Who's in Mega Man Three? Let's see. Uh... I don't know, actually. Maybe there's not one in Mega Man 3. Mega Man 4, it's um, Pharaoh Man. and Mega Man 5, it's Skull Man. In Mega Man 6, it's Flower Man. In Mega Man 7, it's uh, Junk Man. Mega Man 8. Um, do you have one in Mega Man 8? Who was in Mega Man 8? It's like I have to try and think about... What was Mega Man 8 like? Mm, let's see. Astro Man, you got the Astro Crush... Uh, sword man, you got the uh, flame sword. 
Tango Man gives you the Tornado. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to go through the, go through the various Robo Masters to remember what they gave you. Um, uh, Frost Man, you get something. Oh, you you get the uh, the ice blocks. Um, uh, grenade Man, you get grenades. Um, Search Man, you get missiles. There may not actually be one in Mega Man Eight. Um, yeah, I don't think there actually is one in Mega Man. Okay, so they're they're not in every single game, but they're in a fair amount of them. Anyway, what I don't like about them is, as as enemies use it, it's very frustrating because it's very difficult to overcome. Like usually because the width of the attack is about the same as your like uh, what would you call it, your jump arc, and so you really have to time it right to get over it. Um, and then, when when you get to use it, though, it's not really as good because in order for it to really work, the enemy has to get close to you. And you usually don't want your enemies getting that close to you. So it's just sort of a not a great weapon for Mega Man to use, but it's a great weapon for his enemies to use. So it always kind of bug me. All right, round two. We're going to give this another shot. Got my Metal Blades going, ready to go. Gonna run in here, gonna throw saw blades at this pile of wood. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, there goes the shield. And jump! Did it wrong, whatever. Oh, the little tiny ones reflected it, that's unfortunate. This is probably gonna be like a, a race to be first place, Melvin. Um, Alright, here we go. Ugh, there's... No, I don't know. I was gonna say I was gonna say there's a little lag when I tried to move, but no, I don't think that's the case. I think it's just me, just me being bad, just me being bad, y'all. All right, we're getting another shot. Here we go. Here we go. Um, yeah. So I, I just like one that always drove me crazy is Skull Man from uh from Mega Man Four. He um like there's so little clearance. And he, he fights you kind of weird. So the way Skullman fights is he's got two j two basic attacks. He um he can either just shoot you. He's just got a Mega Buster kind of like yours. Um, and he has like a shield. And his primary like so he he fights kind of strangely. It's almost like the the game can't decide what to make him do a lot of the time. Oh, this is so close. Uh, one more hit though. Oh. Yep, one more hit would kill me. One more hit would have killed him, I think, too. Uh, if it gets down to that point again, I'm not going to make y'all go through the level again. I'm going to use an energy tank, don't worry. But, um... Let's see, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, he will, like, uh... It, it's like the game doesn't know, oftentimes, what it wants him to do. And so he'll just kind of, like, stand there sometimes, like, almost taunting you. And, uh... You have to either like if you if I think if you like jump, he does one thing. If you shoot, he does something else. Like if you shoot, he'll put up his shield and then like run at you, which is so much trouble to deal with. Um, all right, I'm out of out of it. Let's see, go go. All right, let's go for this. <sighs> Come on, really, really. All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to try and fight him with. With the no energy tanks I have. Mm, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, I tell you what, if I. <laughs> assuming I will lose, um. I will, uh. I will, uh, fast forward through the level this time <laughs> so you don't have to watch it. Um. Jeez, I, like. I feel like that. I, I, I'm kind of. I'm really surprised that Woodman is giving me so much trouble because. Normally he doesn't, honestly. Like, he's tricky. It's, it's tough to get over his shots, but usually I feel like the Metal Blade does so much damage to him that it's not really that big of an issue. Um, and this is clearly not the case. He's all up on me now, too. Yep, there we go. Okay, so I will speed up. I will see you guys back at the fight. Good old three game over... Or was that three or two? It was three. Three game overs and one... One episode, that's sweet. Alright, see y'all in a bit. Wow, I suck.
I'm not great at recommending anyway. I should probably stop after this. I just, you know, what, what, I think part of what's getting me is that um, there is slowdown in, in, when the shot comes at you. And so I'm kind of expecting to have a certain amount of time to dodge. That really isn't, I guess, the case. You know, it's like you have to time it better because there's a little bit of slowdown, and that's proving to be tougher than expected to be. So, well, this is not going great. I don't know, it's just, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is, you know, it's, it's, ah, I'm trying to be good at games. I'm trying to be good at games, and not always the case. Hello, hello, pal. Hello, fire dog. You cool guy, I guess. Whatever. Do all the fire, the, do all the lady fire dogs love you? Are you lady fire dogs? I don't know. I don't Um, maybe, maybe you're cool. Maybe they think you're super hot. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Probably not, though. Especially if you use jokes like that. Ha 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 ha. Oh, die. Die, Raymond. She keeps shooting you in the toe because it's safer than getting up there with you. Hey, 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 hey. The Achilles toe. <laughs> oh, that's a good bird. That's those tacos showing up again. Yep. <laughs> I think they're called like bat batans, maybe? Maybe they're called batans in uh, Mega Man X. I want to say that in some Mega Man series, the bat monsters are called batans. That's helpful, I guess. helpful. It is kind of interesting to see like the minor differences between this and the original NES one. Like, for example, how the birds come out. Um, in the NES one, they kind of come out in like a, uh, I mean, it's a regular pattern, but it looks, it looks irregular. You know, it's like kind of, they're all over the place, basically. Um, in this one, they're just, they're a pretty regular pattern. They kind of just fan out. This works pretty well with those guys. Keep using this. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. You know, I really can't believe that the Amanda Blades aren't doing more against a uh, Woodman. I really thought that they were there. Maybe they're not his weakness. Maybe he's actually weak to Tom Fire. I think that's what Adam used to say. He's weak to Tom Fire. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. Let's see. All right. Let's get back. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I am the Moy Chicken. Started. I tried to start the episode again. Over. Whatever. Anyway, as you can see, I'm at I'm at half health, but I have three lives, so I'm just gonna do this first one without using my metal blades, just to kind of, you know, maybe get lucky. You never know. Um, now, something I was thinking about while uh, I was getting to the level is that, you know, I, I I remember the fact that this is, you know, this is a remake, I guess you could say, of the game. This is a you know, this isn't the original NES one, and so there are certain. It, it's very possible that the timing is just different. You know, um, like I realized that as I was trying to do a, like a lot of the things in this, I'm using the sort of timing I'm familiar with from the NES one, and it's possible that that's just not appropriate in the Sega Genesis version. So maybe that's why I'm being so terrible. Yeah, that feels better than just admitting that I'm terrible. I like that better. Let's go with that. <laughs> Alright, you. Here up. Oh, I actually thought I was going to get hit that time. Alright, alright, come on. Wow. Come on. <laughs> die, 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 die. Alright. Whoop. Oh, he's so close now. I mean, he's literally close, and also he's close to death. Yes! <laughs> yes! It only took three game overs! But I beat... Wo I defeated Woodman. About to say I beat Woodman. Probably shouldn't say that. I defeated Woodman, and Mega Man is so grumpy at me because I did terribly. I hope y'all enjoyed this. That was Woodman. This, is, that's, that's, this was a 20-minute episode. Well, that's before it, uh... I speed up so anyway this is Mega Man 2 from Mega Man the Wily Wars for the Sega Genesis I hope y'all are enjoying it I like the different perspective it's a cool game and yeah hope you're enjoying it thanks for stopping by